Orchid, Orchid by Jordan Galland. Daphne sits at the kitchen table looking at her phone, texting or receiving texts at the dresser. An orchid has been deposited next to the sink, behind her. A mess of soil piles on the counter. She hears the door open and pulls the phone down. Gavin enters, sweating, holding multiple heavy plastic bags and a dark green grimy plastic flower pot. He sets them down. Oh, I try so hard not to be cynical, but those experts on 28th Street, the specialty shops, they're not actually in the flower health business as advertised. They're in the flower selling business, the floral decorating business. So what did you get? Well, I almost gave up, but I went to five different shops and somehow cobbled together most of what you asked for. You know, pebbles, crushed, crushed pine cones, and walnut shells, soil fertilizer. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're yeah. the best husband. One place dedicated to orchids with orchid in the name had zero advice for how to repot it. Might as well be selling vape pens in the bodega. No compassion for flowers or nature. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One guy was nice enough to give me uh, this pot for free because he was throwing it away because none of them actually sell a 10 inch diameter pot with holes for water, seepage. Drainage holes. Okay, yeah. What's so special about this flower? Don't, you know, and then don't just say you need to keep it alive to prove something about keeping things alive a bit, right? Don't do that, because I wanted to get a cat, because you know I love cats, and you said it was too much responsibility. Yeah, honestly, don't be angry. I just felt entitled to own decent furniture without getting scratched to the <laughs> And I saw your parents' house, and it looked like they put their living room through a blender. And I wanted an apartment that didn't read like kitty litter. Uh, there's odor-free litter right now, state of the art, so... Yeah. And then buy some for your parents. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's, it's too late. Cats are too dangerous in the third trimester, and they, give, and they can suffocate a newborn baby. We would have to give it away. Uh, hold on here. Let, let, me, let me hold that. So, you know that's just a, a dumb myth that could be traced to a New York Times article mm -hmm. from the 1800s. Mm -hmm. Blaming a cat for stealing the breath of a baby. It's literally a joke. Is toxoplasmosis a joke? Is being born deaf or mentally disabled a joke? Because that's a real risk if me or the baby is exposed to feces in Kenya. Okay. Well, I would have been the one scooping and changing yeah. the litter anyway, so there would have been no risk. There you go, the savior, the go-getter, the, the success story. <sighs> What's wrong? What does it say? No. Are you feeling okay? Because we're killing this poor thing. It's not going to work. I should have just tried. I should have tried to repot it with my own research. Come on, we haven't even finished with the walnut Please, shells. Please, Gavin, the... just stop. Oh, you're shaking. I should be able to keep a flower alive. Because some colleague decided to click on a website and send it to you? It's from my intern. If you choose to take on the responsibility of keeping an orchid alive, sure, by all means, feel a little bad. But, but this random woman you're assigned sends a gift, and now your whole self-worth rests on keeping it alive? It's awful. It's humiliating. You never cared so much about orchids before. Uh, I've never even seen you water flowers or try to keep anything alive. Which is why I really, really needed this to work at. Who are you texting? The intern. What? You, you don't have to tell the intern? Why don't you care what she thinks? You're the boss! In a program your boss's boss created only for the socio-political optics It's just the... something humans, especially women, especially mothers, should be able to do. Cook and sew and make oh. flowers grow, and I can barely the floss of a Rito for myself. I read this in the most adoring, loving way.
way possible as the luckiest man alive because you're having his child. You sound like an idiot right now. Women need to cook and sew and clean and... The oh, I want to be nurturing a good wife, a good mother. I want to care for a living thing without killing it. You care for me without killing me last I checked. Hey, darling, that's just not true. The bigger my belly gets, the more weight you've got on your shoulders. You cook and clean and even do the ordering in when you don't feel like cooking. I was looking at my credit card bill and I've only had to use Seamless once in the because last five months. Because you deserve that. That's something men, especially husbands, especially future dads should be able to do. And you're doing what? it successfully to a maddening degree. Why is it maddening if I care for my pregnant wife? Your company's doing well? Yeah. You're your own boss? Yeah. You're in good physical shape? All your friends pat you on the back for starting a family, trying to hook you up with more business because you know that kid's gonna burn a hole in no longer. I can't even get promoted. Paternity leave looms like global warming. Did you know it's the same process and paperwork to fill out if I was taking sick leave? Like, there's something medically amiss if a baby comes out of your vagina. Oh, my friend warned me how I might accidentally kill this defenseless child inside me a hundred different ways, and even though it's our baby, it would be my fault. Daphne, you don't see how amazing you are, how everyone compliments uh -huh. you. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> your skin's amazing. It's glowing. Your hair is silkier than I've ever seen. It was so much as a month before. Oh. I look fantastic assuming I lose the baby weight. Everyone feels bad for me, but not enough to give me their seat on an unconditioned subway in the middle of August. And the irony is, I've never been so fucking productive, juggling a million things at work while making time to speak up to the doctor, ordering everything from the nursery, applying for space and daycare, and reading a hundred new mommy books. I should be employed on the book, Jimmy! Oh, yes! Oh, you are! And you're gonna be an amazing mom! You're so amazing! Why are you gonna let this dumb orchid make you feel like a failure? Oh, it was a test, Evan! A try run! A f and I fucking... I failed! Not even for a good reason. I didn't kill it with too much sunlight or too little water. Or even neglect would have been understandable in some sad way. I killed this flower with fear, insecurity, panic, trying to repot it. Oh, I didn't breathe and wait till all the Tell I had all the facts, it's like I get possessed by my anxiety and I can't speak for it. Cause your mom is in your head. <sighs> criticizing you. Telling you. Your hair isn't long enough, or your clothes aren't nice enough. Uh, or stop! Something stop! About... Stop trying to figure me out! But you're my wife. Oh, you can't do it all. You can't solve all my problems. One day you'll bump up against something you can't fix, and what are you gonna do then? Well, I know what I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna give up. Mm. If it's gonna die anyway, if you've accepted that fact, why not just try finishing the stuff I bought? I mean, I bought this stuff, right? You're not hearing me. Uh, you tried. You tried to make me feel better, and I appreciate it, but you failed. The flower dying, breathing, and gathering. That is the scent of failure. I don't accept that. I reject uh, you all can't that. reject this. I need you to know what it feels like. That's what I mean most when you stay married. Stay married? Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Uh, fine. I accept the failure of not bringing you back from the edge of insanity. The orchid's gonna die, and you're gonna be miserable, and I can't do anything to help. Fine. It's almost like you want it to be dead. This is some drawn out excuse for misery. Fuck you, Gavin. Maybe you meant something to me being sent a flower. Last time I was sent a flower was 12 years ago. Oh, that was one dozen roses. And as I recall, you threw them out. Yeah, because it was a doghouse apology, not a grand romantic gesture. Well, it must have worked, right? No, it didn't. Then why are we still together? Then you could be a real jerk when you've had a few drinks. And you never wanted to stop. It was my birthday. You ran into some old band oh. and you didn't want to come home. So I, don't know I asked you. And you didn't answer the phone until 10 o'clock the next morning. I was 12 years ago. To lose your well, I'm sorry about that. 
okay? Maybe that's why I never sent flowers again. I had a feeling there'd be a bad association. But if that was the wrong thing to do, why didn't you dump me? Because I figured as soon as you got all this partying out of your system, you probably settled down. Well, that was smart. You were right. Yeah, problem is I didn't settle down. What are you talking about? I was so busy taming you, I didn't tame myself. Oh. Oh. Give me that look. What look? You think the press girls are just mixed girls? I've seen your wild side, babe. You weren't exactly an animal. You had some easy times. <laughs> but I was always the one pushing it. I mean, you were smarter than me, that's all I'm saying. Don't. Don't. Please don't. Why? Maybe it's a delivery. Don't you want to see? No, 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 please. Who is it? My intern, Jake. Your intern? You said there was a woman like Lorena or Loretta. Uh, the first one was Lorraine, yes. How many interns do you have? Just two. After four months, they rotate into a new one. Jake's an amazing writer. He's got some potential. Oh, I'm glad you have positive things to say. Why is he here? Did you send him out to get supplies too? Got everyone in New York running around to try to slave this flower? He's here because he, he wants to talk to you. I don't know. Me? Uh, why? He thinks it's his. Fine. Give it back to him. We'll put it in the pot and drop it out the window if you don't want to see him. Not the flower. I don't understand what you're getting at. Yes, you do. Don't, don't answer it. We're just going to pretend we're not here. I wish we weren't. I want to say sorry, but... But I saw you on the computer, and it was all virtual. It was. Until it wasn't. I don't believe what's happening. I didn't want to tell you. I never wanted to. Just like I didn't want the orchid to die, because that was like a literal symbol Whoa. or a manifestation of who I was trying to be. I was only pretending I could be that person, that no. wife. No, no, no. You were that person. Always. You are! We ran into each other on the street after only seeing each other on screen. He was taller than I thought. So weird, you can't tell someone's height on Zoom. Turns out his therapist is around the corner, so we'd meet for coffee before his session. Then after his session at a bar. Therapist? Jesus! He's got a little depression, okay? I An intern suffering with mental health? Were you trying to check as many unethical boxes as you could find? Cram as much impropriety as possible into one affair? And right on cue. Of course, that's your takeaway? Your moral superiority? And you, are you even, are you even capable of having oh, feelings? Excuse me all over the place if I can't summon up some vulnerability at this instance because the fucking hypocrisy. If you were a guy, and you abuse that kind of authority with some young girl looking up and to you. It's not as simple been. as that. Women don't all have that corrosive relationship with power. It's different. Different. Oh. All right. Being pregnant no less. Were you pregnant? Yes. Holy shit. Is that okay? Is this? Is this? Is that okay? Of course. I thought that was clear. That's why I'm so upset. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying?
You hurt me. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, you were choking me. Oh. If it's his kid, then I want it. What? It's not his kid. It's your kid, Gavin. I asked if the kid was his, and you said... Your kid or kid? Kid! Play. 